learning about a very interesting topic. So, the name of that topic is polygons. Maybe that you all are uh, familiar with polygons. But today, in this video, we are going to learn polygons by a uh, with a better way and a new energy. So, let's start this topic. So, I would like to learn about polygons with the help of shapes. Like that, I am drawing some shapes on the bracket. Such like this. Like this. And another shape also. Line segment. But if we talk here 
which is triangle and it is bounded by three line segments. We all know the triangle is bounded by three line segments. But what happens if uh, I ask you to tell me that how many angles does the triangle have? Oh, so you all also know that it has three angles because you all are, you all are familiar with the triangles. But uh, tell me that what is the sum of their three angles? Oh, so you all you all are also familiar with this that the triangle have the sum of their angles as one eighty degree and quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals, which are four sides. What is the sum of its angles? Firstly, we all know that it has four sides. But what? Four sides and four angles also. But what is the sum of those four angles? Oh, so you you all are also familiar with this. That this have also the sum of three sixty degree. Okay, very well learned. Done. But the uh, what happens if anyone will ask you that please tell me that how do we know that the sum of triangle means the sum of the triangles all angle is 180 degree or what happens if anyone will ask you that uh, why you have said that the sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree and what happens if anyone will ask you about the sum of all the angles of some big shapes like octagon, decagon, pentagon, like this? So to clear your all the doubts, we are I am going to uh, telling you all a simple trick means a simple formula by which we can find the uh, sum of all the angles in any shape of, means any polygons. Okay? So let's have a look for it here. So I am going to tell you about these triangle and quadrilaterals. So triangle has three sides. Its formula is not only of triangle. This formula is for all the polygons, all the shapes. You have to find the sum of their angles. And the formula is number of sides, number of sides minus two into 180 degree. If we will apply this formula on any shape, so normally we will get its answer. If we take the example of triangle, so how many sides does the triangle have? 3, then 3 minus 2 into 180 degree. So now let's solve this. 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Y into 180 degree, then it equals to 180 degree. 180 into 1 equals to 180 degree. And we all know that the sum of the all the angles of triangle is 180 degree. Simply we have find it here. Let's have a look for the quadrilaterals also. Okay. Number of sides in the quadrilateral is 4 minus 2 into 180 degree. Then 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 into 180 degree equals to 360 degree. So we are also find about the 360 degree. Now, uh, but as we have seen that we are find about triangle and quadrilateral. But what about the big shapes? Like lunagon, octagon, so as I have tell you before that by applying this formula we can find the all the sum of the angles of any polygon. So let's have a look here. So let's take the no no no. So <coughs> sorry. It's at the nine sides. Then nine minus two into one eighty degree. 9 minus 2 into 180 degree. Then 9 minus 2 equals to 7 into 180 degree. And if we will solve this, then uh, we will get 
So this is the difference in the convex polygon and concave polygon. Now moving towards to learning about diagrams. So let's know about the diagonals. Let's see it by a shape. Let's name this figure also. So, as a definition, if we talk about the diagonal, so a line segment that joins the non consecutive vertices of a shape is known as diagonals. Okay? We'll join the non consecutive vertices. Okay? Like that, if we join A and B, then it will be diagonal? No! Because these will be consecutive vertices. But we have to join non consecutive vertices. So, leave B, come on C, which is a non consecutive vertices. So, we have joined A and C, and here we have get a diagonal AC. Let's see B. So, the consecutive vertices is uh, so D and B because we can leave C because it is a consecutive vertices to B. And D is non consecutive vertices. So, here we have meet point B to point G. And we have get again a diagonal BD. Now let's see C. So if we observe C here, then we will not join C to D. We will join C to A. Means we will join non-consecutive vertices. So we will get a diagonal C and A. Like this A, C, C, A. And then we will get DB. No. Okay, so we here. But the, if we say mainly, it has two diagonals. Because it is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral are two diagonals. So I throw this. Okay, because it has four sides. So, like this. A and C, one diagonal. B and D, another diagonal. Okay? So, like this here, we have find the diagonals also. Now, let's have a recap of this chapter. This topic, polygon. So, what are polygon? Polygon are simple, closed, bound, sorry, I mean a plane, not simple plane person. So, polygons, as a definition, if we talk about the polygons, so a plane closed figure which is bounded by the line segment is known as polygons. And about the classification of polygons, about triangle, quadrilaterals, pentagon, hexagon, septagon, and decagon, nonagon, octagon, okay, like this. And uh, in here we have also learned how to find about the awesome of all the, uh, all the angles of any polygon. And the formula was number of sides minus 2 into 180 degree. And after that we have learned about the conve concave and convex polygon. So, uh, and at last we have learned about diagonal. Now I think that we all are familiar with the polygon. About their classification, what are polygons, concave polygon, convex polygon, and how to find about the sum of all the angles of a polygon, and what are diagonals. So I hope so that you all have enjoyed this video. Now we will again meet in our next video with another interesting topic.